Oh, that lighting's going to be annoying, isn't it? Should I move? We're gonna have to move. I literally, like, if it was like that, not too bad. But what if it's crap the other way? Right, hold on, girlies. Oh dear. You know when you feel like someone's watching you, so you just can't park or drive? That's, that's how I feel. Like, I can, what am I doing? I'm in drive. <laughs> how did I actually pass my test? I say this to my boyfriend all the time. Like, how did I actually pass my test? You know, I would love to do a little story time of how I, well, not how I passed my test, how my driving test went because <laughs> it is funny how I passed. You can sit like that, can't you? Right, I'm gonna leave the car on. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, that's a learning curve. So guys, we meet in the car. I don't have a coffee or anything because I did have a matcha this morning and we can't have too much caffeine. So we've got a little Kim Aid. Is the lighting here okay? We're gonna hope so and I really hope no one comes back here because like I'm at the back of the car park So if you choose to sit next to me, you are simply strange And please don't fizz up Stunning I Really hope the car is not making loud noises when my car's off I never know if it's fully off because there's like the screen's still on, like the light's still on, so I'm scared of, you know, the battery drainage and all of that. So I put on my story about some dilemmas because I wish my life was so exciting, but like, not to be ungrateful, I'm in a happy, basically healthy relationship. So I have nothing to complain about, you know? So that's great and I do lack in the friend department I'd help you guys with your dilemmas I mean there was someone there where I was like please someone was saying like they don't know whether to pick this or this and I was like about like what they wanted for dinner I thought okay let's start off pretty intense now this is a no judgment zone I literally couldn't care less what you're doing in the nicest way possible so like it's not a deep okay in a sticky problem, I've been talking to a boy for around a few months, but his baby mum is pregnant. Okay, so starting off, he's a dad. Red flag. <laughs> no. Okay, based off my own, like, type of things, and now I know this man, boy, will be watching, don't do it. It's really not worth it, unless, like, you're old enough and mature enough to really understand the deep depths of this and like what this is going to entail i would stay steer clear okay take my advice from that one anyways she's pregnant again okay he's promising it's not his and they don't sleep in the same bed okay let's just the only issue with these things is like i need to know more like i would love to like phone you all let me know if we want to do that in the future where i like phone you and we discuss and like i'll put your voice in like some weird mode where it's like talking funny like you know when they mask someone's voice so i don't know everything but i'm gonna give a couple of scenarios first of all you're saying they don't sleep in the same bed so do they live together if they live together run don't even getting with someone with a child already you need to be so prepared for what you're getting yourself involved in okay like are you going to be happy with them two still having a relationship because even if you get with them and they've got a bad relationship they don't really you know get along one day they will you see it with so many parents like they get on in the future so are you going to be okay with that basically are you going to be okay with them having a relationship of somewhat you know even if they say they don't love each other anymore there is a high percentage that they do like you have a child together like i don't understand how you couldn't but then again i've not been it well i've kind of been in that situation but not on the opposite end where i have a child there's always going to be that love they're always going to spend time together and you're not always going to be there so that's going to really worry you so as much as this boy is lovely there is plenty of boys out there plenty okay when i got myself in that situation i really was not ready for that i wasn't prepared i didn't really understand like 
I was a teenager when I got myself involved in something like that. Not seriously, like not like years worth or like so deep. I was with a boy who had a child. And for me, how I felt, being honest, I felt very uncomfortable at that four. I kind of wanted to see past it. Like I just saw him for him. And I kind of like, sometimes I would forget that he had a child and that's not very nice, you know? I know he probably wanted me to, you know, be friends with her or something, I don't know. How do you how do you befriend a child that's not yours? I really don't understand. Like, I never grew up with children. I just don't know how it works. Um, grew up with children, obviously not, but like, I never grew up with like younger people. Like, every time he would speak about her, I would feel quite uncomfortable. And I think that's not fair on them, the boy, the child, or anyone involved in that situation for me to feel uncomfortable by that because my own fault for getting myself in that kind of situation so I should have you know been more prepared I understand if you do like him but you just really need to have a think about it whether it's going to be for you and when you then go to have your own children are you going to be happy for then that other person and that family have some sort of connection to them in a way there's a lot to think about really stopped thank you darling parking that's just my main advice on that pregnant again and promising it's not his whose is it then i think you need to speak to the girl and i know that's quite awkward but i feel like if you this is strange because i would find this very strange if you kind of like made friends with her it would make your situation a lot easier because when i was in that situation i had never spoken to her but i feel like she probably had something against me just because like i mean that's your child's father and there's a new girl on the block like that's my baby daddy maybe try speak to her but in my opinion i just wouldn't i wouldn't stay i wouldn't because i you're just gonna be worried constantly like is that his child like are they still a thing and that they don't sleep in the same bed now sweet pea i love you you are so innocent and pure do not trust this man do not trust this man. I just need to know, like, if they live together, you need to run so, so far away. That is going to be a very draining relationship. You're just going to be going in circles, like, do they still like each other? Is this child his? Like, because they're going to have that bond, babe. They're going to have that bond. Okay. Boy who's got a girlfriend, but is getting with me as well and has promised me a lot. Because he's four years older. He only wants to make things serious once I've finished my A-levels this summer, but it's hard because I've given him my all, but I don't know what's going on in his head. But he's reassured me a lot and talk every day. It's just a hard situation. We only meet up in secret, but I really, really like him. Okay, again, I'm going to be exposing a lot of my old relationships here. So if you are any of my exes, ex-talking stages, hi, hun. Thank you for the character building. Like, you've really built me into the girl I am today. But you're also, like speaking to a girl that does social media i don't know how old you are so this is where it's like oh a levels teenager okay cute my one thought now that i'm not with an older person because i think the person i was with when i was literally i'm not even gonna say what age he was like four or five years older and i really thought that this man wanted to be my boyfriend because like I know what you mean when they promise you so much and they talk to you every day. This man spoke to me every single day. We would meet up, but like we'd go to his house, but it was kind of like whenever I entered or left, it kind of felt like tip-toe, tip-toe, you know? But then again, people did know, like after a while, he did tell people around him but i always felt like his little ashamed secret so that's just not fun for anyone really and why is he waiting for you to finish a levels why why is it because he understands that the age different is a bit creepy and again you're not gonna think that at all because when i was in that situation i was like it's not creepy like you just fall in love with who you fall in love with to a certain extent honeybee to a certain extent i don't know why i didn't see it as a red flag but you don't ever want to be someone's secret ever like my boyfriend now i compare him to all the people i've ever been with and he treats me so differently he makes me feel so much different like he's not ashamed of me like we don't meet up in secret none of this first of all that man took me out on a date my first ever date like i've had multiple talking stages boyfriends no one's ever taken me out on a date okay so that's when i knew this man is for me but let's just start again boy who's got a girlfriend 
I I completely skipped over that part. I don't think I heard that when you first typed that. Boy who's got a girlfriend is getting with me as well. My question to you is, why are you getting with a boy with a girlfriend? Because if he was to break up with her, he's just going to do that to you. Do we understand that here, hun? Like, even if he says he won't, he will do that to you. When you finally get revealed, there's going to be another secret. So I would run so far away from this man. Is this my ex? <laughs> um, he's promised you a lot, promises me nothing. Actions speak louder than words. You've given him your all. Give someone else your all. Give someone else your all because this man is not for you. There was a few about driving. So one's here. I'm trying to get back into driving. I'm currently trying to drive, but it it's a struggle. I'm feeling disappointed and struggling. I have only been driving a couple of months and I'm a person with anxiety. If you guys know me, I'm anxiety riddled. I've had anxiety for as long as I can think when i was younger i feel like everyone does when they're younger they want to drive you're always like oh when i leave school i'm gonna practice to drive da, da, da. me and my friends used to say that all the time we'd be like yeah we can pick each other up beep beep first of all now i've passed i've got no friends i pick up one friend and that's it but love love her you know thanks for staying here sorry the hair is not giving i literally took it out of the french plat this morning it's so yeah when i was in school i wanted to drive didn't happen i'm now 20 going to be 21 and i only started to drive well started to practice to drive when don't come up here i'll be honest girly pops i'm not quite used to this whole filming in public business yet i have been sat here for about 20 minutes just debating whether i wanted to carry on they've gone now well they're not they're in the shop but <gasps> anyways where was i i said to myself i didn't want to drive because my anxiety was so bad but then my anxiety was so bad getting buses and like walking places that i thought i just need to drive i just think it's best for me one day i was in my boyfriend's car and i was like i think i'm gonna start lessons you know and he was probably so confused because he knows that that's just not what i want to do but i was so Recording stopped but i parking but I was so scared because I've never been, been behind a wheel. Like I've never even had like one lesson. And I thought to myself, it would be easier if I'd done automatic. And it has. So if you're very anxious or if you've driven and you can't get a hang of it, do automatic. I don't care what people say. Like people, well, I've had like my family members say, oh, doing automatic is the easy route like you just got the easy way out like so easy it's literally a goat cart okay well this goat cart gets me from a to b you know you will feel so accomplished with yourself if you do drive like i feel so proud of myself like this is probably the proudest i've ever been for myself because like yeah i've done things here and there where i'm like wow that's amazing but this is like i've overcome something with my anxiety and like i feel safer in my car which to some people may sound ridiculous because like cars aren't completely safe but like i feel safer than just walking around you know just in the darkness or like going from places in the dark you know or like even with buses they just made me so anxious like everything getting on it because with my anxiety i feel like people are constantly talking about me and looking at me like I can't help it. It's just, I used to hate walking to school because I used to feel like everyone was staring at me, but like they're not. Um, so yeah, and I feel so happy with myself that I now like drive and I pass my test. You will feel so amazing, so accomplished with yourself. If it makes it easier, do automatic lessons. If it's like the manual that's worrying you, like what is worrying you? That's what I need to know here. But if it is like the whole driving thing, get an instructor you're comfortable with do automatic if you really can't understand like gears because that used to scare me like i feel like if i had an, a manual i would be scared all the time that i'm gonna stall which would 
create anxiety i'm gonna get the wrong gear i can't get to gears like all of that like would have given me stress whereas this yeah i still learned all the road things but i just got like break and go it's just a lot easier for me personally i would have answered that better if i didn't get thrown off because now i'm a bit thrown off right let's get into like a big one i've been seeing this boy since august last year we met on holiday in june and in august he came round and met my family and stayed for the weekend it's now nearly march and he still hasn't asked me to be your girlfriend her girlfriend sorry i can't i can't read or to come and meet his family. We live about two hours away, but still. We do get along so well, and I do really think he likes me, but surely if he just wanted to mess me about, he'd do it with someone closer to home. Agree. But we also argue and bicker a lot about stupid things. Sometimes I don't think he's ready for a relationship, and I'm just waiting for nothing. He said he's scared because I'm the first girl he's had he's had proper feelings for. But is this taking the piss now? Like, I'm nearly 21, he's nearly 22. I'm not playing immature games. I want to be someone's hot young mum, for fuck's sake, anyway. <laughs> mood i feel like if you're gonna do long distance you need to make it work first of all if i'm not your girlfriend within like the first two months i don't want to know like i simply don't want to know if you're not going to be doing all these things for me see you later so let's just unpack bit by bit so it's march babes march no my boyfriend literally said he wanted me to be his girlfriend from like our first date so that's saying things and he ha hasn't asked you to meet his family Oof. see you live two hours away two hours ain't that far hun two hours ain't that far so if you wanted to you know where are you meeting though like if you're two hours away is he just coming to you or like have you not been to him like what's the vibes but you could easily do something like just go around his house and meet them i don't know because i don't know your circumstances but either way like you should have met his family by now like, if you haven't met the family, that is, like, proof that he doesn't see you as being a girlfriend. Sorry, love you, babes. Do you get along so well, and I do think he really likes me. If he just wanted to mess me about, he'd do it with someone closer. I agree with that. I agree with that. I really do agree with that. Also, arguing bicker about stupid things. Honeybee. Me and my boyfriend bicker probably daily, but you need the right person for you to bicker with. Like, my boyfriend, depends what mood he's in, he'll bicker with me. But if he's just, like, in his normal mood, he will just simply just diffuse, you know? What are you arguing about? That's another question I have for you. And no matter what relationship you're in, who, whoever you're with, you're going to argue. So I really wouldn't worry about the bickering and arguing at all because if you don't argue with someone, I think I would go insane. Like, I can be quite confrontational confrontational sometimes my boyfriend will back that and i feel like if he didn't argue with me like do you even like me like i feel like there's passion in arguing you know and like it shows you care like if even if them little things are pissing you off like say my boyfriend's i don't know ditched me to go to the pub this is because i care about you okay i let my boyfriend go to the pub i, I simply don't care but you know if he ditched me to go to the pub he wouldn't do that he really wouldn't do that so don't worry about the arguing but you don't think he's ready for a relationship and i'm just waiting for nothing he said he's scared as i'm the first proper girl i'm i would say sorry to my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend i am his first proper like love and he has said that but not just that like yeah he probably did love her like that's not me saying that he didn't because he probably did but like first proper relationship where like i've met his mum and his dad and sister and stuff like that and he's met mine etc and everything's just more serious so it's kind of good if you're the first proper girlfriend but in my opinion like you should have been girlfriend boyfriend no matter how many times like you've met if you're talking every day what are you waiting for like just pop a label on it Actually, don't just throw it on there. But, like, if you wanted to, you would. You want to be a hot young mum, baby girl, hurry up, leave him, please. Leave him. I know you may love him, but, like, if you want to be in a hot baby mum, you want to be with someone that makes you feel the world. Again, I'm going to keep referring to my boyfriend because I truly do think he's a saint. Although he does really anger me, I genuinely think he couldn't do no wrong in, like, big scenes. Little scenes, yes. Big scenes, no. No. And he honestly does so much for me. And I just feel like you need a boy to worship the ground you walk on. My boyfriend does, but he just portrays it badly. You know? Like, I know he does. He just doesn't give as many compliments as I want. But it's fine. So, yeah. In my opinion, if he doesn't want you to be his girlfriend now, when will he? You shouldn't have to beg. Don't beg for no man. Oh, no. 
Okay. Oh, I love ones like this. This is why I want a best friend, like, that has so much gossip in her life. So I can just give her advice and we can just talk. Because as I said, like, I'm in a happy relationship. So I don't have none of this. I used to, though. I used to be the friend that was like, oh, my God did you know he's done this anyways talking to two guys don't judge i've been single too long i mean i definitely have done that i've definitely spoken to two boys at once if if he's not my boyfriend not my problem so you do you honeybee one of them i used to talk back in the summer and the other one is newish the one who i used to see in the summer didn't want a relationship with me the new guy seems like he wants something meaningful only problem is summer guy has asked to see me and the relationship guy hasn't now i'm stuck do i go for my fun or wait around for something more meaningful that i don't even know is coming okay i've been in this situation 100 percent. okay so summer guy he didn't want a relationship with me have you asked why what are the reasonings for this do we know why it'd be great to know if we know why but if someone doesn't want a relationship bin him off you can find another boy looking at that profile hey, you're stunning babe you're stunning oh my god all of you are so stunning and i'm thinking why are we all worrying about men oh men if he doesn't want a relationship leave him even if he's asked to see you plenty of boys are gonna ask to see you it's fine the new guy seems like he wants something meaningful which is stunning ask the new guy why he doesn't want to see you like have a discussion i think that's just what we're getting from here so yeah discuss with him and see because he's meaningful give him a chance you know and then if if he is a rat then go back to summer boy for some fun and then when you find someone more meaningful leave him he didn't want a relationship <laughs> i keep dreaming about my ex that cheated on me when i've been with my new partner for two years and we live together it's becoming a problem as it happens every night i feel so guilty about it i don't even know why i keep having these dreams okay are you having dreams that your ex is cheating on you again or are you just having like dreams like dreams i feel like everyone has dreams about someone they don't know why it's very normal very normal like i've had a few times where i've had people in my dream i used to dream about this one boy all the time it's really embarrassing because i actually think i ended up telling him or someone told him anyways i used to have dreams about him constantly and i don't really know why i think our brain is just like especially when something traumatic happens to you like that like a, like a cheating I was supposed to say a cheating scandal. A cheating situation. It's really hard to not be traumatised by that. We are traumatised by men. So I wouldn't worry about it. Unless you have to like sit there and think to yourself, you love him. Like, do you still love this man? He's a cheater. To me, no. So I wouldn't worry too much. As long as you love your new boyfriend so much and you don't love the other one anymore. If you do love the any the other one still that's when you need to think to yourself am i in the wrong relationship but then again don't ditch this lovely man i'm assuming he's lovely she lives together i just personally i wouldn't worry about it babe our mind makes us think crazy things i constantly feel like i could drive into a wall but i don't do it you know <laughs> i shouldn't say that okay i've been with my boyfriend for just over five years the last year things have seemed different he doesn't want to do anything he says he's going to do he does nothing around the house to help either Ugh. We have two kids together and I have two older kids from a previous relationship. Since our youngest two came along, he seems to treat my eldest two different. I told him how I feel about it or he says he'll change. It lasts a week max before he acts like his usual self. Any advice? Okay. I was kind of speaking about this earlier. Like, you need to make sure whoever you're getting into a relationship with that has previous children or you have previous children, that they are right for you because these are children at the end of the day. We've had time for our developing and growing they don't so if they get treated poorly by this new person that's going to be with them for life i don't know if he's treating them badly but he's just saying treating them differently um it's hard because you said you've spoken to him and he says he'll change i guess you love him and you can't leave him but i say just have you told him that you like would you leave him over this? Like, what's the sitch with that? Because I don't really know. 
I'm unsure on that one, babe, because if you spoke to him, if you feel like this could be the be all or end all, just say to him, like, look, these are my children. These are my absolute babies. I will not have you treat them any differently because I know I would be furious because these babies have done nothing. Okay, I know they're not babies. They're older, but they're your babies. I feel like they're always going to be babies, you know? If you're going to treat my babies any different, I simply don't want anything to do with you because just because my, our two new children are new and shiny to you doesn't mean you have to treat them different because this is now our family. You accepted to be in this family. And if he's not doing anything, I say, you don't do anything. For a couple of days, don't do anything. And then watch them complain about that. And then they'll soon realise how much you do for them. And that they realise that they need to pick their shite up, you know. We'll do one more and then we'll go for a wee and then we'll do a part two another time. So maybe when I'll get back, I'll film a part two at home. So me and my boyfriend have been together for a year and a half. Everything is amazing. We have been through a lot together and had a miscarriage. I'm so sorry to hear that. Which actually brought us closer together, as it would. But the last few weeks I've had doubts because there is two girls, two girls we've been friends with. In my life? No. Simply no. Are these new friends or old friends? Either way, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Since before we got together, they are meshing him a lot more now. And he doesn't sit his phone face up, always down or on do not disturb. No. Go through that man's phone right now go on his recently deleted text if you need help how to do that i will help you now he's straight up all the time with me about it and everything one of the girls has asked him to go to london with her speak to this girl tell her how she is so slimy and needs to back off okay i will do that for you because no 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 this is your boyfriend not hers you are the one that should be going places with him that is just a boundary that should not be crossed if my boyfriend said oh yeah i'm going to i'm, I'm going to watch a movie with stacy no you're not no you're not i'll watch a movie with stacy 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 you won't because you're my boyfriend not hers i have you spoken to her he told me as soon as she asked okay and said, is that not weird her asking me? Okay, he understands. But these two girls in the question both sleep with men who have girlfriends. No, no, no. He needs to befriend, befriend them. Do I put my foot down and say I don't want to be him talking to them? Baby girl. You are his girlfriend. You are the authority here. You can do as you please. You could say, oh yeah, like it's good that he spoke to me about it. But like... Is that just trying to cover it to be like, oh, but I told you, so, like, you won't assume I'm doing anything? No. Speak to these girls, or I will. Speak to these girls. Tell them that what they're doing is disrespectful. How would you like it if you had a boyfriend and they were sleeping with girls? What's... No. No, 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 no. 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 Tell him to stop talking to them. Absolutely not. Why would he want to be friends with them when they're doing that? Doesn't that make him feel uncomfortable? No. That's all I've got to say on that, to be honest. That's all I'm going to do for now. I know that was only a couple, but I really need a wee. So I've got to go. But I hope you enjoyed this little dilemma talk. I'll do a part two. I'll probably film one when I get home and then edit it and post it another time. Yeah, I loved hearing your dilemmas. Take my advice as you will. This is just my opinions, my opinions only. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.